Hello, my people. It is your redneck from Georgia, Nate. Hey, guys, we are going on the last hunt in Georgia today, guys. So we're going to hit a bunch of spots up, see what we can find. I'm hoping to still find that uh, X Men 2 pack from Toys R Us. Um, fingers crossed that they have it. Uh, but we're going to hit a lot of places today um, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, you know, see what we can find. So, all right, people. Y'all take it easy now and have a good one. Enjoy, sit back, relax, and have some fun. Oh, and by the way, congratulations to my boy, Big Kid Kingpin, for winning my uh, Transformers giveaway. And then also to Liam, the Nostalgic Nerd, for uh, winning that Juggernaut Pop. All right, y'all take it easy now and have a good one. All right. All right, let's see. Hey, nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. Literally. Uh, let's see. Death Troopers. I'm looking for an Imperial TIE Fighter. And. Yeah. Nothing. Man, I'm always hopeful, but, all right, Let's see y'all the next one. I mean, the good thing is I did stop by my comic shop and got my books, so, if anything, we don't find nothing today, at least we got our books for the week. All right. All right, we were at Books a Million, people, for the last time. It would be funny if I actually found this one today, but I doubt it. And I've only found Star Lord once, and that was that was some luck. Man, box is beat, and not seeing a whole lot of nothing else. But you never know. I mean, you really don't. I mean, you gotta look. First time I've seen these. I know there's a chase of this one. So let's see. No, somebody put it down. I thought it was the actual chase for a second. Got my hoops up. But let's see. And nothing here. All right, anime. Let's see here. Nope. And uh, yeah, whole lot of nothing. Then we still got. Man, there's only one of these left. They had all of these last time I was here. But I am looking for the metals transformers now. Oh, never mind. Do still got that one. And they do have a twenty percent off sale. But sorry about that. Technical difficulties. But they do have a twenty percent sale this weekend as well on the entire purchase. So and I'm actually looking for the Imperial TIE Fighter for Jess. She told me she wants that one. So if anybody's got it, let me know. All right. Welcome, Dad. We still haven't got the Negan in yet either. Nope. All right. Well, I think that's gonna end it. Yeah, it books a million. Cause I'm not seeing a whole lot. Um, so I'm gonna go check some books out, see what they got, and if I do find anything, I'll definitely let you know. All right. All right, at Walmart. 
Yeah, still a whole lot of nothing. It's funny because these Voltron ones, remember, remember when they first came out, everybody was trying to catch them up. Now they're everywhere. Earthquake and Typhoon. But, don't need that one. Just need a Mankind. Definitely want to get that one. <laughs> I've been looking for this one. I think this is the first time in a long time with this one. I've actually found something. Usagi Ujumbo. Yep. Looks like they're... Ha <laughs> Looks like they restocked on the white ranger. The yellow. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, we're still looking for that Imperial TIE Fighter too, by the way. So, I don't know. I'm not looked in uh, these in a while. No, Death Trooper. So, looks like it's all the same ones as usual. The usual suspects. Not the ones I want. Oh, well. Uh. Ah, I just noticed that. Crap. It's all dented. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. I actually wanted that one pretty nice because it's not for me, it's for my boy Tony Towns. And still no 40th ways. Other than that one. And alright. Alright, and let's see. Still no homecoming wave. It's all the old the old guys. Yep, and still wave one of all the last night stuff, so still nothing. Well, I think that's going to end it, people. This Walmart. Not seeing a whole lot else. Uh, hold on. Here's a homecoming wave thing. Let's see. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> it's about as bad as uh, Ricky Dones is yesterday. Hit yeah, the same, same thing. Yeah, it's like this is the, the initial like Packers and stuff that came out, but still nothing. Right. I'm never gonna find that variant Chrome Dome. But oh well. Hold on. Oh, I see another big old Optimus. Standing up tall over here. Let's go look at this one. But I'm gonna probably ask somebody if I can take it with me. They don't want it. Because they just throw those things away. So let's see. That's kind of cool. All four movies plus the uh, little Legion. Um, you're gonna get one, get this one with the sound wave. But, good job, job. Braun. Holy crap. Braun and Roadburn. If Juno Koo hadn't got me those, I'd be buying them in a heartbeat. Dude, that's like the first time we've had legends here in forever in this scale. That is awesome. It's been a good day. Oh, and by the way, I did pick up a couple more books from BAM while I was there. Yeah, I was excited. And I'll show you why when I get to back to the house later. Alright. My people take it easy. 
I'll see you guys at the next stop. Later. All right. Target. So, let's see what you got. You never know. Might come up with something good. I know the, the Star Wars Darth Vader pop it came out, but likelihood of them having it pretty slim to none. Yeah, it's a raining cats and dogs people outside because it's summertime in Georgia. So, let's see. Oh, you know what we're actually looking forward to? We're looking for a movie for Ava. Let's see if they got it. Yep, yeah, they got it. Alright. So anybody from the 80s automatically knows what that's all about. Because that is an awesome, awesome movie. I still love that movie. I grew up on that stuff, people. And we're also looking for the new uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai. It just came out this week. Because it's the final chapter. It's the last portion of that series. And consensus is it doesn't look good for the home team. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep, I'm not seeing it. Dang. I'll have to go to Walmart somewhere and figure it out. Somebody's got it. Alright. Stay tuned. We'll be at the other side of the store real fast. Watch this. See? Told you. See what happens? Real fast. I think this is a new setup they have. They got the deluxes for 20 bucks, man. That's so sad. Look at how everything got, went up in price. I'm hoping when we get the next waves of generations are not that way. Got Stevie Ray. Oh, this is WCW Stevie Ray too. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. All right, Rangers. We got sailing Rangers. I'm trying to get rid of them. Let's see. <laughs> Poor Rocket. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, looks like that's it. The old directs. And let's see, we got multiverse. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Pretty, pretty much nothing like usual on the, on the actual toys. Yeah, let's go look over Star Wars. Let's see if they got anything over there. Hmm. This is new. Next. Uh, <laughs> Eddie Guerrero. Got a Hogan. And then Stone Cold. Hmm. Huh. Something different. Let's see what they got. Alright. More in the bots. All the lot. Uh, all wave. Uh, one of the last night plus the broadside but yeah it's still nothing yeah that Star Wars is a bus too people alright well and that's all we want to see. So, um, y'll, I'll catch you guys back at the house. Latest. Hello, my people. This is day two of the last hunt in Georgia. Um, saw some stuff yesterday, but uh, 
Hello my people, this is day number two of Nate's last hunt in Georgia. I'm going to try to finish up some places I didn't get to go to yesterday. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and after we get done I'll show you everything I picked up yesterday as well as what I picked up today. So, I, so yeah, I'll take it easy now and have a good one. Alright. Alright, Toys R Us. Let's see what they got. Want that in the Voyager and Leader class. But, look what it says. If I won't get one, 40% off. So, the sad part is there's nothing that I really want from this wave. So, hey, maybe there'll be some more on the other side. All right. All right. Homecoming. And a whole lot of nothing. Let's see what else they got. Wonder Woman. Yep, nothing. Huh. Well, I hope they got something. Got a reward certificate I'd like to use. And a 15% off. So let's see. Try to look. Oh. All right. Clearance. Yeah, even Toys R Us has clearance. And not seeing nothing with a buying for clearance, so that's well, that's kind of cool. But if this is anything like the one freaking Raymond sent me, man, that took me like two hours just for a little bitty thing, three hours or something like that. I mean, forever. I'm, and it's still fine pieces and parts that fell off of it. So, no. All right. And let's see. And I still got the preachers here, but nothing. Um, let's see. All right. We got some more NECA. Let's see. Ghostbusters, but I've been seeing those everywhere, and I love the show. It's a good show. There's the one I want. Get off the pig. Ugh. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can't beat that for 14 bucks, you know. Yeah, we might be copping this one today. All right. For 15 bucks, plus my discounts and everything, this should be dirt cheap today. But, let's see what else they got. <sighs> some of those, Bishop, Godzilla, um, still got that Terminator down there. I just can't pull the plug on it or pull the trigger on it. Sorry guys, if I'm a little tired today, it's been kind of busy at the house. I've been putting, taking all my toys and packing them up and getting them ready to go. Get a beat? No. It is cool to finally see something newer here, though. But, nothing I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. And maybe I'll get lucky and I'll have that two pack. I give up, man. There ain't no 40 that's going to show up. They do have Zubio on sale, Ricky. <laughs> All right, let's look at some legends. Let's see what they got. Finally, I'm starting to clearance these things. Get rid of them. Of course, it's like right as soon as I'm leaving the area. So, man, there's a lot of people here today. I'll tell you that. 
And they got uh, they got that five pack, but it definitely ain't gonna be that piece right there. I guarantee you ain't that price. Man, all I wanted to see was a two-pack. So I'm probably not going to see that here. Maybe I'll get lucky when I get to Cali. Maybe they'll have it. Man. All right, let's go see what they got. Transformers. Wrestlers. Yeah. Nothing, people. No, really. Nothing. McBowie. Alright. And. Same old, same old. Wave 1's. Maybe sprinkled with Wave 2. So. Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> This is the first time it's actually been in the store. I know I got mine from a trade from a long time ago, but guys, I'm excited to see it. Metroid. But yeah, I'm excited to see that. I know it's old news, but it's cool to see it in your own store finally. And nothing. Yeah, bunch of Pikmin. That's about it. But that's all right. Remember, people, you got to look around too, because you never know when something's hiding right in plain sight. All right, and same thing. Wonder Woman. Buy one, get one, forty percent off. Not a bad deal if you want to build that Aries. But yeah, they're all gone. Like all those double shield ones are gone now. Yeah. They bamooshed. So somebody came in and picked them all up. <laughs> all right. Of Rangers still want that damn Megazord and Dragon Zord, but it's never gonna show up. Um, and has anybody seen the new metallic version ones yet from Legacy? Yes, I have not seen those things anywhere yet. So, and we got some turtle action, but nothing really, nothing new all right people well i think that's going to be it for towards the rust we'll see you guys on the next one all right all right we're at best buy and the music is loud as can all get up but uh, not the not the one i want but you have to see if they actually have something all right we're gonna hit the Pull this area real fast. See what they got. Try not to get a copyright. All right, so they sell Marvel Legends, but 50 bucks for that? You're just fucking crap, people. Dorbs. And Leia. That's uh, a Scarab Trooper. Spider-Man. Nobody's gonna pay 50 bucks for that, people. And great. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to see if you got anything good. Those are pretty badass, so. I like those statues, they've got no room for them. But, looks like that's it. Well, I'm actually here to look to see if they have that new Dragon Ball Z Kai Blu-ray. Because that just came out. So, 
I'm gonna do some digging, see if I can find it. If not, I'll see you guys at the next one. All right. Got it. Got them coked. So yeah, they actually had it on sale too for 30 bucks. So definitely worth it. Now my set's all finished. Probably be trying to watch this this week to finish up the rest of Kai. Uh, if you've not checked it out, go see it. I mean, it's definitely one of the better series out there that they've done. It's pretty much Dragon Ball Z and remastered without all the filler. How Akira Toriyama wanted it actually to be done in the first place. So freaking awesome um and if you've not seen it go by and watch dragon ball super as well it's a continuation of z before gt really good show they incorporated um you know the battle of the gods with beerus as well as uh the return of frieza the golden frieza so if you've not seen it go out and watch it there's two versions of super right now there's an actual Japanese one and it's like on episode I think like 96 or 97 um, And there's subtitled out there as well as there's the English version being showed on Cartoon Network. So all right for all my Dragon Ball fans woo -woo, We got some DBZ people All right one of the Walgreens I'm gonna hit today and of course uh, Box down, box down. Of course, all it is is this damn Sandman wave. An old Crocky, it's still there. Yeah, let's see. Nothing, nothing worth getting in the pops. Let's see. A uh, new that might have been like a trophy. I collect the trophy series ones, but yeah, nuts are looking so good for the home team. Man, hoping. Let's see. No, nope, no chases there. I did see some dorbs over here, so I'm gonna go check those real fast. Yeah, these are probably the last time I come to this one. Uh, guardians. I don't think there was a chase in Guardians either. Oh well. Win some, you lose some. That's how the game goes. Go look in the overflow real fast. And. <laughs> it's like the overflow gone. So, I'll wrap people. See y'all the next one. Ladies. Alright, we're at Walmart. And this is the same one that I used to get uh, good stuff out. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if they got anything else good today. All right. And uh, a lot of last night. Dang. Old Sandman wave. Well. This is the one where I found the homecoming wave at, so it's a good thing I cashed up on both those cases of them. But they got Jack now. Two packs just gonna sit on the shelf for a while, and I'm not gonna pay that price for it. Let's see. Yep, still no 40th other than the Vader down there. Come on, Walmart, y'all need to put that that on discount down same way with the ATST put that down discount people actually buy it uh, yeah these aren't even worth looking through every time it's the same thing nothing new all right I was hoping to find those new transformer transformer metals that came out those look pretty sweet um, those are coming. Those came out by Jada. 
think East or West Coast already got them. But maybe I'll find them now. Yeah. Not looking so good here. We got some turtles, but nothing. And a whole lot of nothing. Nope. Only thing they really got here. Oh, come on. Yeah. Wouldn't be a hunt if it didn't drop something out, right? Right, right. There's, I got Shawn Michaels with the belt. The Elite. A bunch of hooks. Which is pretty cool, I'll say that. Well, I saw another, or, uh, well, that's a defining moment. I saw that other Elite earlier today. I think that one actually looked better. All right. Well, I think that's all they got. So we got one more Walgreens to hit up, and then that's gonna end it for Nate's run in Georgia. I know I kind of said that yesterday, but hey, wanted to do a little bit more. Just one more time. That's just a hunter for you. So, if somebody is looking for something. Where does you hide it? Let's see. You hide it in a hidey hole. So, if anybody in the Warner Robins area needs that spider man, it's right here. And this is the Russell Parkway Walmart. I got them for everybody else. All right. Y'all take it easy now. and I'll see you at Walgreens and we'll be at the last stop. Latest. All right. Last stop of the day, people. Um, of course, it's at the Walgreens where I used to get everything at. Now the only thing they got is... Sandman wave. <laughs> Man, look. There's so many black suit spiders in there that Venom could just come back and say hi. And nothing. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be a nothing. Even with Nintendo. Got nothing. And let's see. Same old boogers. All right. Yeah. Cane. But looks like that'd be it, people. Go hit the other side real fast, see if they got. Anything else? Probably more Sandman wave. Not my load. Um, but that'd be it. Yep. All right, people. That's gonna be it. We're gonna take care, and I'll see you at the house later. All right, well, Walgreens was going to be my last stop, but I figured I might as well hit the comic shop one more time here. So, went and did some bartering, some dealing, and it got me this. Been looking for this for a while. It's been sitting on their shelf for for ages, and they're able to cut me a deal on it. So, yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right. All right. Now I'm really going home, <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys everything's hauled from yesterday and today. So, but yeah, definitely wanted to stop and at least show you what we found already. All right. Hello, my people. 
this is your redneck from Georgia Nate and this is Nate's last haul video and uh, pickups as well as I got a couple boxes in today so wanted to end everything today um, and working trying to get the house cleaned up getting stuff packed and sweating like a madman in summer but it is warm in Georgia today so uh, don't mind the, the fan in the background because it is hot in here. Um, but I did want to show you guys what I picked up this weekend. We got some cool stuff. So, of course, on Saturday I went to FYE and I picked up the Bloody Ash to go with my set. Definitely needed that um, for my Ash vs. Evil Dead set. So, it's, I was happy to find it. Because I'm any, anything Evil Dead, I'm going to go after in a heartbeat. I love Evil Dead. It's my favorite horror series of all time. Um, did go to my comic shops and book some name. And that is my daughter, Olivia, in the back. It is nighttime. Trying to get her to sleep. Um, so I booked some million we picked up. Walking Dead. Now, I usually don't buy a lot of individual issues of this. Usually I buy them in compendiums or, you know, or trade paperbacks or hardcovers. The reason why I went at 167, and this is a spoiler if you don't know, this is a death of Andrea. So, she's definitely a, a, so much better in the comics than she is in the actual show. I'll say that in a heartbeat. Um, but yeah, so definitely. Go pick it up if you haven't got it. Uh, it's a good read, I've already read it. So, definitely. Of course, uh, what well, wouldn't be Ash without some Ash versus Army of Darkness comics? So, we got this one. And this is only 99 cents, too. The S Smart Special. 99 cents. So, two good pickups from Books A Million. It's been sitting there for a while. So, picked it up. And it's number zero. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, we went to our comic shop. And Secret Empire has been having tie ins like every week. And I haven't even had a chance to read them all lately because it's been so busy around the house. But I did pick them up. So what we got is Secret Empire, Brave New World, number two. We got Secret Empire, Underground, number one. We got Ultimates, number two. Ultimates, two, number eight. We also got Doctor Strange, 22. And then we also we got U.S. Avengers number seven with Squirrel Squirrel Girl <laughs> and a bunch of Hydra. So definitely, um, I like the series. Um, there's been some hit and miss issues on some of these. Um, definitely, um, not there's some of the storylines you're like, eh, did, why did I read this? Um, but it is just like a little bit of a tie into it, but. Um, I like the series. You know, that's one of the main things that got me back into Marvel. And then, of course, these really got me back into Marvel. X-Men Gold. So, yeah. This is awesome. And I believe issue number seven, the next issue out in two weeks, is actually going to be a Secret Empire tie-in as well as X-Men Blue. But I saw this image, I want to say, two months ago. And at first I thought it was for a figure, but it's not. It's actually for this. Weapons of Mutant Destruction, number one, Batch H. And yes, that looks like a, a Hulk with Wolverine claws. So, go read this series. Um, there's preludes to it. Of course, it's uh, in Weapon X, as well as Totally Awesome Hulk. So definitely go out there and read those. Um, it's a great series. I love Weapon X. Um, they did an amazing job with it. It has that uncanny X-Force feel which is one of my favorite series of all times. So definitely, got some good pickups. Now, that was on Saturday. On Sunday, I did go back out again. Uh, and we were able to score Dragon Ball Z Kai. This is part three of the final chapters, which ends the series for Dragon Ball Z Kai. So now I have the complete series. So, and then watch my luck now that this came out, and there'll probably be a box set. You know, knowing my luck, but it finishes it up, and I was happy to get it. So, all right. 
So, next up, uh, with Toys R Us, I saw everybody getting this thing, and I saw it in person, I had to have it as well. This is Azrael from Gotham, from Wrath of the Villains. Um, I get it, it's, it has like the multiverse level articulation, De definitely not a DC collectibles or icons, but for what you get for 15 bucks, it's not bad. Especially when things like this and multiverse go for like 20, 25 bucks. And I had a $10 uh, gift certificate, so for five bucks, got me an Azrael. So, that was not the uh, big thing of the day, of course. The big thing was this. And I've been eyeing this for a long time. Um, it's been sitting in my comic shop forever. And we have is the original X-Men. This is the Toy Biz uh, version. Let's see, does it have a year? Yeah, 1997. So, I'll open it up. So, get you guys kind of closer. So you can see all the figures inside. It's freaking awesome. I mean, definitely, like this is early, early Toy Biz too. So, it's when they went to the six inch scale. And that angel's freaking huge. So, very excited. Got him to do it on talked him down on price and he hooked me up with it so big shout out to uh, Heroes and Villains Comics and Warner Robins for getting me hooked up with this. I've been looking for this for a long time. Thank you guys. Now we've got some boxes so we need to make a little bit of room to see what we got. So move these over here and first up this is from my boy, Big John, 808. Uh, he actually sent this to me from uh, Seattle while he was out there. He had found some things for me, and so big shout out to you, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Um, so let's see what's in the box. All right. Man. Yeah. Man, you did some tape on this one, brother. Tell you that. All right, there we go. You will open. All right. Oh. Oof. So, man. Use a lot of bubble wrap, which I appreciate. So we've got, oh yeah, got me a Tuscan Raider. So getting my uh, Wave Two finally caught up. I got the Jawa from Big John, or uh, well John Large, the Largent Family Hunter. So he hooked me up with that, and he's also got me a Stormtrooper and the uh, I think it's uh, Chewbacca and death squad commander and then my boy big john got me the c3po so i am down to just those uh two or three and then i'll be done with wave two because wave two still hasn't showed up here yet in georgia so to get it here has it's been freaking crazy because used to be i used to get a lot of stuff but man they've been in a drought for so long here who knows when they'll show up. So, uh, we got a box and it is kind of mangled. I mean, this is pretty bad. Looks like, you know, they play football with this box. And it's like already open. Let's see if everything's still in here. Um, and this comes from my boy Philip Rodriguez. We did a trade for some things. Um, yeah, let's pray and hope that they kill that box. Hmm. Yep, looks like everything's all right. So I'm just glad it was in there. Cause like I said, that whole, that one side was already opened. Um, Man. 
There we go. So what we got is some build a figure parts. Haha. -ha. Galactus arm. Needed that. And then we got some Modoc. Got the uh, the leg pieces. Freaking awesome. But that's not the thing I want. Uh, we traded traded for well, those are some, definitely some good things. So I have come up with um, a figure as well as uh, some bath pieces. He sent me the thing, Marvel Legends thing. See, yeah, uh, this is the old Toy Biz bro. Toy Biz one. So, yeah, I definitely needed it to go with my uh, Susan Storm. But, so, let's see. Can we stand? Most important thing. Can the thing stand? And he stands just fine. So, Philip, thank you, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Um, all these bath parts will be put to good use once I get everything else in. Um, so, definitely. Thank you, Paul Down. Go boom. Uh, all right, guys. So, last box. That's a heavy one. This comes from Rob Forky. So Rob Forky's got a channel out there, so go out and check him out. I'll put a link down below. Um, we did some trades. He had, uh, he went in an old man Logan, and he found some stuff for me. So let's see what's in the box, because I don't even know everything that's in this box. All right, so. First up, we got a letter. It says, hey Nate, thank you for helping me find Old Man Logan. I've been looking for him for some time now. I did add my custom RC and something else to the package. I think you will like them. I love your YouTube channel and I hope your subs keep growing. Please please keep up with the great hunts and awesome balls. You can do it, bro. 1,000K, 1,000 subs. So, thank you, Rob. And I keep all my letters um, from everybody. I have a bag, I keep them all in, that way once it gets set up to the next place, we can see. Alright. Let's see here. And if you've not, if you didn't go check out Rob's Customs, go out and check that. Uh, he had a video, I think it was a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, um, where he showed some of the customs in. He did a phenomenal job on a lot of it. So, I asked him and said, hey. Can I get that one? And, he's, uh, and he said, yeah, definitely. And he hooked me up with it. Um, so, Rob, I really appreciate it, man. From the bottom of my heart. Glad I could hook you up. Um, this is sick. So, this is from uh, Transformers Prime. Um, and it's been repainted for into different colors this is cool that is that is awesome dude you did an amazing job dude i'm definitely not talented like this he, dude thank you so much man is that a kickstand i think that's a kickstand oh, i don't want it to break so i'm not gonna mess with it too much but <laughs> oh man that brings back memories <laughs> we got a couple little like uh these are micro machines or or something man these are itty bitty bitty Like, I can barely get these on camera because they're so small. Let 
and and a hauler or tow truck, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that is awesome, dude. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, and there's one more thing in the box. they traded for. Oh my god, dude. It's a lot. Look at that. You see how many books is in there? Holy crud. I thought I was going to get for just an old man Logan, dude. All right. Let us see what's in here. Dude, these are like some old school ones. I remember these. Dude, I had this issue when I was a kid. Or younger, I'll say. Excellent Adventures number one. Okay, I remember this. When this one came out, I think a couple of years ago, it's kind of a uh, reissue of Giant Size Excellent number one, the True Believers version. <laughs> Let's bring back some real memories. X Men number one. This is the Cyclops and Wolverine cover. And then this is the other uh, the other set. I think one was like A and one was B, one C D and I think E was the wraparound one. That is awesome. Dude, this is an old one. Man. Classic X Men number one. And he sent, sent some Wolverine as well, looks like. Uh, Wolverine 53. <laughs> number 46. Number 33. And I love this cover. This is one of my favorite covers. I think I've got a couple of, a couple of copies of that. And then... Let's see, we got 32, 33, okay. So what we have is some Marvel Age. So if you don't know what Marvel Age is, it's the uh, news magazine from Marvel from back in the 80s. Uh, kind of like their running newspaper, and they'd have stories in it and kind of, hey, what's coming up down the road. Um, so yeah, we've got some issues from them. These are pretty, I always love the covers I did for these two. Number seven. I always, and I like this one. Number 11, I think he's ripping out of the, the pages with Kitty Pride there. Then you've got issue number 32. And this is kind of cool. Um, this is number 48. And this is when we start seeing uh, new mutants get bigger. You had the, the X-Men out in the Outback as well as um, X-Men versus Avengers. So. And then, okay, number 33. Showing, you know, ironically, instead of it being the new X-Men coming out of them, it's actually X-Factor coming out of the old um, X-Men. We've got number 52, Silver Surfer cover. 
And then lastly, we got number issue 67, the special wet and wild issue. And this is a an actual big book, actually, because this is the preview for the 1988 Wolverine series that came out, as well as the Punisher and Name One Submariner. So this was actually worth some worth some money a long time ago. Probably not worth a whole lot now, but I still love those preview issues. Just like when we had the preview for uh, Incredible Hulk 181, it advertised Wolverine was coming out like almost a month or two. They had advertised it in Daredevil. Um, so yeah, so. Thank you, Rob, so much from the bottom of my heart, and for for all the comics and the toys and the RC, dude, that's freaking sweet, man. To my boy Big John 808 for the Star Wars, and to my boy Philip uh, Rodriguez for the Thing and for the Modoc and Galactus pieces. Guys, it's been a fun trip. Um, this last uh, almost eight months out uh, here in Georgia. We're packing up the last of it. I got all the Transformers packed up today, finally. So, all but maybe like a couple. Um, so that took forever, this whole weekend pretty much, to pack those. And I still have all the rest of the figures to, to pack. So, it's been fun. Um, I will see you guys in California. If you're Redneck from California, we'll be there um, hunting and looking and trying to find things out there as I go to my new job and as we go to a new area so my boys Esos Hunters Mikey's Action Figures Mike the Hunter SoCal Collector and everybody else you know D-Bag you know too bad Plastic Attic ain't around because we could have hanged out uh, my boy Juno Koo uh, Swing Pro 71 all the guys on the Cali side we're gonna hit it up we're gonna have fun um, we're going to have a blast of a time once I get out there, guys. So, this is not goodbye, but just Nate going on a hiatus for a little bit, okay? I've got boxes, as you can see. Everything's being packed up. The room will be empty soon. So, it's going to be a great time once I get out there, get my family out there, get everything taken care of. We're going to have a great time, people. So, this has been your Redneck from Georgia, Nate. Signing off for today. Like I said, not goodbye. I'll, I'll see you guys around once I get a chance. All right, now. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. All right.